Hello and welcome to Louis Times. I am Kangana Sharma and now let's have a look at today's top 10 news that created headlines. The 7th edition of India-France joint military exercise Shakti commenced at Umroy in a fully developed and modern foreign training node in Meghalaya. The exercise is scheduled to be conducted from 13 to 26 May 2024. Exercise Shakti is a bilineal training event conducted alternatively in India and France. Last edition was conducted in France in November 2021. Indian contingent comprising of 90 personnel is being represented primarily by a battalion of the Rajput Regiment besides personnel from other arms and services. Prime Minister Narendra Modi filed his nomination papers from the Varanasi Lok Sabha seat, a constituency where he has secured wins with larger margin for two consecutive terms. Uttar Pradesh Congress Chief Ajay Rai is Modi's main opponent in Varanasi, making it the third time Rai is contesting against Prime Minister Modi in a Lok Sabha election. Varanasi, however, will go to polls in the seventh and final phase of the election that's on 1st of June. The economic advisor to Nepal's President Ram Chandra Podol has resigned after his controversial remarks on government's decision to issue new 100 rupee notes with a map that includes three Indian territories, a move that's already been rejected by India. Hours after India signed an agreement to operate the Chabahar port in Iran for 10 years, the United States has warned that anyone considering business deals with Tehran needs to be aware of the potential risk of sanctions. The long-term bilateral contract on Chabahar port operation was signed between Indian Ports Global Limited of India and Port and Maritime Organization of Iran on Monday, enabling the operation of Shahid Behesti port in the Chabahar port development project for a period of 10 years. Former Bihar Deputy Chief Minister and senior BJP leader Sushil Kumar Modi passed away at the age of 72 on Monday. Sushil Kumar Modi had in April this year revealed that he was suffering from cancer and that he would not contest the 2024 Lok Sabha elections due to his health condition. China's recent construction of a road in the Saksham Valley, a disputed region along the borders of the Chinese province of Xinjiang and Pakistan-occupied Kashmir, has reignited tension in the already volatile region. The latest report suggests that the Indian Army is analyzing the strategic impact of the new road, which enters the lower Saksham Valley from the Aghil Pass. The road infrastructure has been under development since June 2023, with construction efforts resuming in the summer of 2024. The Srinagar constituency of Jammu and Kashmir voted on Monday to choose its next representative to the Lok Sabha, the first election there since the general election of 2019, and the voting figure broke all records. In absence of any boycott call from separatists or fear of violence, 38% people came out to vote, a first in 35 years and highest since 1989. Srinagar has recorded 14% polling in the last general election. An Indian UN staff member and former Indian Army personnel was killed in Gaza, marking the conflict's first international casualty. The victim was part of the UN Department of Safety and Security and was en route to European hospital in Rafah when the attack occurred. The UN Secretary General condemned the incident, calling for full investigation and offered condolences to victim's family. Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif on Monday resigned as the president of the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz, paving the way for his elder brother and former Premier Nawaz Sharif to retake the helm of the ruling party amid internal strife. Philanthropist Melinda French Gates announced on Monday that she was leaving the non-profit foundation she established with her ex-husband Bill Gates, an organization that has become one of the most influential in the world. 